Okay guys, we are gonna be painting today and we're gonna be using our primary colors to make our secondary colors. We're gonna need water, a brush, one of these things that are called a palette, and then the original palette and a messy mat. Now you make sure all of your work is underneath this messy mat. This keeps the table clean. So if I forgot to pass these out, make sure you have a messy mat underneath your work. Okay, now I know these things aren't super clean, but that's okay. We're just gonna make it dirtier again today anyways. When you use a brush, you're going to get a brush similar to this one. This one doesn't have great bristles. Hopefully, y'all's will be a little bit better. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to switch out and get one with some better bristles for you guys to see. Okay, this one's a little bit better. And you're going to hold a, a paintbrush just like you would a pencil with these three fingers. And you're going to wrap it around just like that. First thing we need to do is we need to add water to about six of these little holes. So, one... Two, we gotta work fast so our water doesn't dry up. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some yellow. That's our primary color. All right, so we have some yellow to work with here. Okay, there's some yellow. All right, I'm gonna wash my brush off before I get more of the next color. So I'm just gonna wipe it on my messy mat. Then I'm gonna grab some red, okay? Grab some red. I'm gonna do just like that. We're gonna make red, okay? So there's some red. We're gonna dip off that color and we're gonna add some blue. All right, so the third one's got blue. All right, we got yellow, red, and blue. That is our primary color, or those are our primary colors, okay? So now, our first one says to mix blue and red. In a different section, we're gonna take a little bit of the red and dip it in there. Then we're gonna take, wipe your brush off, a little bit of the blue. And then make a purple. See how we're getting a very dark purple. I probably used too much blue, but there's a dark purple. All right, rinse our brush off. Let's go and use, it says to do blue and yellow. So our next one we're gonna do, uh, let's take a little bit of our blue and put it in there. Rinse our brush off. We want more yellow than blue because it's a lot lighter. So if we use too much blue, it's gonna not show up very well. Go to our yellow, mix it with our blue, and we should get a green. Now I have too much yellow, so I need to go back, get a little blue, put a little bit in there, see what happens. Ooh, it's a very mucky green, but we made green, okay? And last one we're gonna do, what do we have left? Okay, yellow plus red, so we're gonna get some yellow and add it in the last one. Rinse our brush off, get some red, add it to the yellow, and we should have orange. Now, these colors are a little bit dull. If you want like a perfect orange, a perfect purple, or a perfect green, you're really gonna have to work with it and keep adding more to it to make it a little bit nicer and make it more, less of a mucky color and a nicer, prettier color. Okay, maybe a little more yellow. Now ah, we'll see. But so far we have yellow, we have red, we have blue, we have purple, green, and orange. So that's our three primary colors and our three secondary colors. Now, I'm gonna scoot the big one out of the way. I'm gonna put my paper over here and rinse out my brush. And then I'm going to add in, everywhere it tells me to put blue, I'm gonna put blue and same for the other colors. So let's start with yellow because it's the lightest. So grab your yellow and put your yellow where it says to. Okay, I may grab some of the original yellow here. Put my yellow, try to stay in the lines as best you can. It's a little bit harder with the brush, but do your best. Okay, and then let's grab some red. I'm gonna bring it a little closer. And we're gonna put red where it says to add red. Whoop, I messed up, didn't I? My bad. My bad. Let me get that off there. Boop. If you guys are doing this, use a paper towel if you mess up. Don't do what Miss Dunn does. Okay. Now I need some blue. We're going to add blue here. And blue in this spot where I messed up. Okay. Now what we want to do 
is take our colors are we made so everybody tell me what does red and blue make okay it makes purple all right rinse my brush out what does blue and yellow make all right it makes green so i'm going to grab some green okay and then last but not least we're going to make well we already made the orange so if you have yellow and red it makes what orange I'm gonna put it right there now are these perfect no but they work all right now it's time to clean up and line up 